good afternoon, loud and proud crowd. So we've got a little bit of situation here with the Malibu. Let me show you what we got going on here. We hit a pothole going, oh, you know, fast, uh, about 70 miles an hour. We got a little bit of a bubble coming from the tires. We're gonna take that in so we can use this daily mobile. Get that fixed. And then over here we have the the new 6 b 24 valve dually. We have Rosine 24V. And we have the Dirty Max. <laughs> you are down to like the last uh, 15 hours or 10 hours to enter to win this truck. Maybe less than that actually. I, I might be way off. It might be more like the last five hours to win this truck. But um, regardless, check today. If it's the 26th of March, which it should be, it will be actually when this video goes up, that is the last day. So at 11.59 p.m. today on March 26th, this giveaway is over for this truck. The giveaway is still open and you can still enter. Every $15 you spend still gets you entries to win this truck. But if it's the 27th of March, it's now over. But if it's the 26th, Check your phone, check your calendar. You are still good to enter this giveaway and you still have a shot at winning this truck. Just do not procrastinate. Do not miss out on your opportunity to have this be sitting in your driveway a week from now. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Enter that giveaway every $15, get you another entry to win. Information is in the description below. Let's get into the video. comes to the dually, I know you, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what's the actual plan for this truck and we're going to try to break it down for you as simple as possible. We're not going to be like telling you everything that we're going to be doing to this truck because it's kind of a long list but we are going to be sharing with you at least some of the stuff that we're going to be doing to this truck. One of the biggest most noticeable things about this truck that we're going to get to and this is more of a cosmetic appearance type of upgrade is we're going to be doing a five inch zone off-road lift kit suspension lift and then we're going to be doing 35 by 1250s all the way around toyo mts or nitto mts we're not going to go with a cheap tire and then what we're also going to do is a set of fuel wheels now i would love to run anthem but anthem currently doesn't make a dually wheel and that is the only literally the only reason why i'm going with fuel off-roads that's the only reason why i'm using this brand nothing happened between us and anthem we're all still good uh, but that's what we're going with we're going to be doing a fuel triton wheel a negative 265 offset a 20 inch with a 265 offset in the rear and then we're also going to be doing a positive 115 offset on the inner wheel on the rear of the truck so it's going to turn out really really nice and then up front we're going to be doing a 20 by 12 with a negative 43 offset for the front so that's what we're going to be running on the front so that's the setup in terms of wheels and tires for that truck and i honestly think it's going to look really really good when i say that truck i'm talking this truck we're driving right now it's going to look awesome it's going to look really good you guys just got to trust the process and then in terms of the chrome badging um i didn't read all the comments under yesterday's video but i can imagine there were some people that were like take the chrome badging off take the chrome badging off the only reason why i'm not going to do it you guys can say whatever you want if people want to hate you can hate doesn't matter the more comments the better this video is going to rank i welcome it actually but the thing is if i take that chrome badging off i have no idea if after being on this truck for so long, if it could possibly rip off any of the factory paint. Because that badging, he's like, as long as I've had the truck that's been on there, and as long as the previous guys had the truck, it was on there. And so I just don't know if it could take the paint off. Just like the first gen or Nasty Red, when we took the badging off, yeah, it turns out fine for some guys, but for some people, it can end up peeling off little like flakes of paint, and then you got like a little Dalmatian effect going on your paint where it's chipped off. And right now, I don't have time to rip those things off, take the risk of that happening to the paint, and then having to schedule it in to get paint work, and then the doors are a different color paint and all that stuff. Like, we just don't have that kind of time to take that risk of that happening. And so, just one of those deals. That's kind of the whole deal for the truck right now. I'm not going to go through all the accessories for the truck because we do have a lot of things that we're going to be doing when it comes to 
some other cosmetic things this mirror for example needs replaced because it's broken like a chunk of plastics missing like there's a lot of small stuff that we're just gonna do just to make the truck look that much nicer but we're not gonna share all those details just some of the basic stuff so when you see the truck those are the things you can look forward to seeing on this build. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna make this dually huge. And I'm talking, it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be really freaking cool looking. And uh, honestly, it's gonna be one of the sickest second gen duallys in the YouTube community. Well, in the YouTube community, probably for sure, for second gen duallys. I don't know how many of those there are on YouTube. Um, but honestly, it's gonna it's gonna get some people talking. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, anyways, guys, that's kind of a gist of the suspension slash wheel and tire setup for this truck that we're gonna be running. Super excited. We are gonna do some stuff for power, but we'll get to that another time, and we'll just tell you what we're doing as it happens. The man, the myth, the legend, Joel Feeman on Instagram. Right. <laughs> if you haven't done it already, you better go follow. Give you better go some follow stuff. some. Some get some so here's crazy the real likes. deal. When I stand here and I look at this, I realize be faithful to one woman but have many trucks. <laughs> right? That's a good statement right there. <laughs> it used to be many guns, so I believe in that too. <laughs> but uh, when you look at that, yeah, here's a lineup. Ford, Duramax, Dodge. Is what it is. Like them all. Like them all. Like them all. So what do we want to do here? Well... <clears throat> So they heard guy, they heard the bad news about the truck a few weeks ago, and ever since then, we've randomly gotten comments like, what the heck has happened to the King Ranch? He said it was going to the shop, we haven't seen it since. Yeah. Haven't even heard anything about it, like nothing's been mentioned. Take it was gone for a while, but it was because, realistically, when we got that really cold, that freeze, I had some issues with the fuel system, and then I kept getting a code that was um, reduced engine power. So I just took it up, dropped it off at our buddies up there, good uh, getting lit diesel in uh, Huntertown. And um, it was really no rush, but what we, they did is they went through the fuel system. That was fine. They got that all fixed. And then um, we just started talking about the turbo because it, one of the codes was had to do with the turbo. So Had to do with air, it said. Yeah, it was had to do with air. So I knew it was coming up. It was some of my list to do, but we went ahead and just uh, decided on doing it. So I was looking at different options. And what I ended up doing was I ended up putting a 2017 with a retro kit on here. I was looking at some different companies and, and so forth, but I didn't want something that was gonna be laggy, and some of my options were more laggy, so I wanted an upgrade, and um, basically I'll show you what, what we got here. But, um, can you even see it under the hood? Oh yeah? Yeah, before we had some stuff fall off. Yeah. And that was helpful. Yeah. So uh, historically you would have to drop, a lot of guys will pull the whole cab off of this thing to get to the turbo, but you can see it. Uh, back in this area right oh, through dang. here now. Yeah. yeah. So basically, uh, from what I understand, I mean, those guys, um, they know their stuff up at getting getting lit. But That's your turbo right there. Um, but you have to change over the, you could either go do a couple things. Like you could go back to the Ford, you know, the 2011 through 2015, uh, 16, uh, upgraded turbo basically, where they fixed their design with Garrett or you could just go ahead and get a better overall turbo, which is what I opted to do. Because now, unlike what they had a few years ago, now they have the option of a 2017 turbo, which yeah. at the time they didn't have that as an option. It was just go with a little bit better your truck turbo. So that's what I, that's what I did. And um, basically what we did is um, they put some new um, piping and then um, you had to take off one side of the manifold and then switch it out so you can get that new turbo to sit on there. But it's supposed to have uh, you know, pretty decent spooling and will do everything that it used to do and then just a little bit more, so. Um, that sounds good though. No, I mean, I, I'm happy yeah. with it, yeah. So this guy got a ticket <laughs> for flooring it going 120. Man, you get a new turbo, you gotta see what it can do. <laughs> so that's what I did. I was going 67 and a 55. <laughs> <laughs> but just just for the record, so you understand where it came from because I drive, no offense to the grandpas out there, I'll be a grandpa next month, but um, <laughs> I was going 67 miles an hour because I had thought it was a 65. When he told me how fast <laughs> he was going, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So you were going three miles per hour too slow when you got pulled over. He's like, no, too fast. I'm <laughs> too like, fast. 67 on a highway, where on earth were you? To get, to be, he was going apparently 12 over by going 67 miles per hour on a highway. Yeah. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. Doesn't seem right. It doesn't, no, it doesn't make any sense. And what was interesting, and I accept full responsibility, this is not, but 
we were we were on the way to the Van Wert Rodeo, and I kid you not, like a minute or two before I get pulled over, my wife, Mama Ellen P, was saying, <laughs> "Why are you going so slow?" <laughs> I'm like, "What? I'm going like over the speed limit by like two. <laughs> He's going 57. I'm going like 55. 57. <laughs> and so, uh, so I, I I go up to like 70. I'm like, yeah, in this truck, it doesn't even seem like you're going that fast. You know, because when you get in some of the older trucks, you know, you can feel that you're going fast. This like one you can't. A second you know? gen? <laughs> yeah, like a second gen or first gen. But uh, so I, it was just kind of funny the way that works out to her. I've driven for years and years and years. I don't get tickets. Yeah. Um, my tires last forever in a day. Like it's just the way I drive. Very, uh, very safe, I guess. Very you easy say. to the easy, throttle. Easy to the throttle. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but anyway, it's just kind of a funny story. But I said that's such a sad story. Like when you say like I got it the first ticket in so long, it's like you're going 67. 67. I'm like, Are you kidding me? Most people are like oh, I was going 95 Seriously. and I got caught. And I'm like he was like yeah, I was testing my turbo out. We did a good test run. We got to go in zero to 67. <laughs> <laughs> that's but, where she topped out. I yes. totally missed. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that's all the but, old Ford would go. But this, uh, but. Uh, Totally yeah, then the, what they did then was once they got it all put back together, then um, just to get back on track with this, um, then they had to re retune it um, for the new turbo and just fix that. So right now, I mean, I've only had it since the weekend, but um, yeah, I just appreciate, you know, Tanner and Colton up there getting lit. They do a good job. So what I ended up doing was I took Nasty Red up uh -huh. and I dropped off Nasty Red while I picked this up. You may ask, why would you drop off nasty red? Well, we because, want more fuel. Yeah, that's one thing we never did was we when we put the compounds on the bigger injectors and stuff, we never did actually the upgrade the lift pump or do anything with the fuel system. So I decided to go ahead and I talked with uh, Tanner up there at Getting Lit, and um, he said he's going to go ahead and throw a fast system on. Um, so I'm super happy about that. And then it just so happened like a couple days before I was going to drop it off anyway, the radiator started pouring antifreeze out too. So I'm going to put a new radiator on there as well. But that's what we're doing up there. Do, do the truck repair slash upgrades ever really end? Or is, one, it, or is it pretty much as soon as one thing's fixed, another thing needs to go back in? Kind of seems that way, right? You look under the Especially hood. Especially when you own four trucks apiece. It's you like, it's you can happen. list all the stuff that you put on, and then the three things you didn't touch, something goes wrong with those. But. Yeah. Yep. And it's definitely not from wear and tear from our end of it, because I've only had about 1,000 miles on Nasty Red. Yeah, and, 149 uh, when you bought it, and it's 151 now. The GM man put most of those on, taking it down to his place and back. No, seriously. No joke. Yeah, that was probably where a thousand of those miles went. Yeah. Almost. But yeah. Well, that's the story on the King Ranch right now. Some updates. So it is first. alive and well. Yeah. Should you want me to start it up? You should probably start it up. Probably. You know. You're starting too. Should I close the hood or leave it open? You can you can go back there and listen oh, okay. to the roar. Okay. Listen to the roar of the dragon. There's old Rosine 24V. I was gonna say no. It's, it's, no, it's not this a bad morning. It was, uh, it was roaring pretty good, but it's just got ran. So, yep. Well, that's all we needed to know. Yeah, she's so back and well. Things I'm looking to do here, but um, some of you follow me on the Instagram stuff. I'm thinking about getting some different lights. I already got the blackout with the mirrors, but with different cab lights and stuff like that too. So, hopefully that'll be coming soon. Looking good. <laughs> Old Rosine 24V. This is a good looking truck. It is a good looking truck. We got these beautiful Whirly Custom Fab traction bars that are dirty because it was pouring rain yesterday as soon as we got done, it started raining. One more look, interior of this beautiful 2008 LMF Duramax. This is your last chance. I mean, this is your last day to enter to win this truck. And then it's over. Don't sit on this opportunity. Please don't. I've seen a lot of people say, I'm not going to enter because I won't win. And then uh, only the handful of people that do end up entering, they said the same thing, and one of them always walks away with the truck. That one person 
could be you. This could be your truck. It could be sitting in your drive legit within a week from today. By the time you see this video, one week from now, this truck could be in your driveway. Think about that. Think about how excited you'd be. Think about how happy you would be when you get that phone call. Hey, you know, Alex, Jonathan, David, Joseph, Nick, you know, whoever it may be. I don't know. Those are just random names that came to mind. This truck is yours. Congratulations. Think about how that would make you feel. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. And I know that uh, I don't know what it's like to win a truck. I know what it's like to give away a truck. And I got to tell you, I'd be just as excited as to win one as I am to give one away. I mean, it really is just something special. And the excitement that comes from a person, just the energy when they're like, dude, I've never won something in my life and I just got a dream truck. Like this is just mind blowing. Like it's something you can't replace. It's a feeling that you can't replicate in any other way. It's just an awesome, awesome feeling. So just think about that guys. Enter this giveaway while you can. This is your last chance. Take a shot at taking this truck home and uh, this baby could be yours. Every $15 you spend gets you another entry to win. Information in the description below. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.